The topic of the Animetrics ERC starting grant is computer animation, but animation is much more than just movies and video games. Animation is used for design. Think, for example, of fashion design. By animating the mechanics and appearance of fabrics, we could design clothing on a computer, or we could shop online and test how clothing fits virtually. Animation is also used in medicine, for training and for planning of surgical procedures. In these applications, it is important to ensure that the models and animations are very realistic. They must be able to predict the behavior of real-world phenomenon. The goal of the Animetrics project was to improve the realism of computer animation models. By measuring real-world phenomenon, the researchers in the Animetrics team have designed new models that are both faster and more accurate. They have looked into very diverse problems, like liquids and fracture for visual effects, skin for virtual touch, or internal anatomy for medicine. But arguably, their most groundbreaking results are on clothes animation. Cloth animation is a very challenging problem. The behavior of cloth is defined by many different parameters, such as the material of fibers, the weaving or knitting pattern, the fabrication process, or the interaction between fibers. These parameters interact and create the characteristic complex behavior of cloth. Take, for example, two pieces of cloth with the same shape but different materials. It's clear with just a few simple experiments that their behavior is totally different and not easily predictable. In addition, cloth is present in almost every aspect of our lives. As a consequence, we as humans are so used to cloth that we need very realistic models to generate fully convincing animations. In order to increase the realism of cloth animations, we have captured reality by measuring real fabrics under different motions. Then, we have learned from the recorded data, improved existing models and developed new ones able to capture new effects. But after all our efforts on the characterization of real cloth, we came to realize that traditional 3D models for cloth, based on triangle meshes, were just not enough. So we came up with a radically new way of representing cloth, mimicking the way it is actually built. We represent fabrics using yarns, and we compute all the forces that appear when yarns touch each other and deform. Because we model the material of the yarns and the way in which yarns are woven or stitched, Fabrics of different types behave naturally as they should. A cotton knit, such as a t-shirt, is stretchy, but a cotton weave, such as jeans, is stiff. But working at the resolution of yarns is not free of challenges. A regular garment has millions of yarn crossings, and we need to ensure that forces are computed correctly and robustly at each and every crossing. The beauty of our solution is that it allows robust and efficient simulation of full garments at the yarn level. And because we represent everything at the yarn level, we can also model snags or other small-scale phenomena. The visual appearance of cloth is also quite important. We can even guess which materials are used just by looking at the way the light interacts with the fabric. As researchers, we face two challenges to make the cloth realistic and to be able to predict automatically its optical behavior from fabrication parameters. With current technology, we can find some compelling cloth renderings in movies, but they are painfully created and edited by artists just to mimic a specific sample. Simulating the color of cloth is not simple. Cloth is made out of yarns, which in turn are made out of fibers. These fibers are almost transparent, with barely a hint of dye on them. And the color we see is the product of the multiple bounces and refractions of photons through the winding fibers inside the yarn. The global aspect of cloth emerges from these small details through repetition. Just the way in which fibers are twisted can produce different shine finishes. And by capturing optical properties with a gonio reflectometer and generating the fiber geometry based on the statistics and factory descriptions, we can obtain results very similar to the actual fabrics. Looking forward, we face many exciting challenges. Virtual reality will soon be present in our daily lives. And this will require models that are even more realistic and efficient, which will allow us to interact or even touch 3D animations.